good. All right. Okay, cool. Let's see, I have 10 people here. Let's make this thing bigger. Ariana just showed up. Hello, Ariana. Morella, hello, Morella. Giovanna just showed up. Okay, let's take roll. I think we're good to take roll and get started. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's see. Michelle's having trouble with her camera. Jose's having trouble with his camera. Let's see. Okay, let's start taking roll. There's Jose. There's Michelle. All right. Nice. All right. Jasmine's here. Gracie's here. Alex Garcia's here, although I can't see him. All I'm I here. See Hold up. Incredible girl. What's my incredible girl's name? Uh, Emma or something? Want to mix all the outfits? All right, let's take Rolly Roll. Here we go. Donnell. Donnell's absent. Isaac. Isaac Aquino. Ishi Blanco. Here. Uh, Madison Boyer. Here. Kayla Bradley. John Chavolo. Ch Chavola. Here. Michelle Covarrubias. Here. Alex Garcia. Here. Jasmine Godinez. Here. Matthew Gonzalez. Here. Brandon Grijalva. Here. Uh, Morella Hanone. Here. Or ha Hanon. Joshua, Joshua Hernandez. Here. Annika Hulskamp. Here. Eric Jones. Gracie Marcelo. Here. Carlos Origel. Here. Jose Orozco. Here. Ethan Ramos. Here. Natalia Rodarte. Here. Jaleen Ruiz. Here. Giovanna Ruiz. Here. Taylor Simmons. Here. Jay Singh. Here. Gianna Taiko. Here. Taiko. Gianna? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Are you here? Yeah. Jacob Terrell. Here. Roberto Valdez. Here. Ariana Villalobos Castillo. Here. Okay, I have, uh, here's our absent. I have Donnell. Here. Isaac, Kayla, and Eric Jones. Donnell Abier. Here. Isaac Aquino. Here. Kayla Bradley. Here. And Eric Jones. All right. So 27 of you here. That means I should see 28. All right. Okay. You know what? Hey, guys, I made a huge mistake. I hope this didn't mess you up. So I apologize if it did. I really do. I feel so bad about this. Today is not Halloween. I thought it was yesterday. I thought it was Halloween, but it's not. I made a mistake. Um, today is not Halloween. Today is not. It's Saturday. So if you dressed up... Hopefully you didn't go trick-or-treat. You guys go trick-or-treating out because of what I said? Hopefully not. They would look at you kind of weird for a couple of reasons. One, there's a coronavirus going on, so they probably don't want you knocking on their door. <laughs> trick-or-treat, right? Plus, it's not a Halloween today. So hopefully I didn't mess you up. I apologize if I did. Madison tried to tell me, but I ignored her. I apologize, Madison. I don't know what I was thinking. That was... 
That was okay. very, very arrogant. I was being arrogant. I was just ignoring Madison when she was just, I don't know. It's, I apologize. So hopefully, you know, you guys are only going to have me for another couple months. You won't have to deal with me anymore, all my mistakes and stuff. But there is a going to be a full moon on Halloween. I think maybe I'm making a mistake. Am I making a mistake or is there going to be one? I think there is. Yeah, there is. Oh yeah. See, there you go. Right. Full moon on Halloween. What more can you ask for? What more can you ask for? All right. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to talk about. Let's get this lesson going. This is, um, I don't know. Hey, if you can factor, if you can factor today will be easy. Medium easy. Now it won't be too difficult. Maybe it'll be medium. But if you're good at factor, and you should be pretty strong about today, if you can factor, you'll be like all over it. We're multiplying rational expressions today. So here we go. Let's get. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna show you guys what the assignment is. Here we go. Friendship is magic. You go to the friendship is magic page, and then you go to um, uh, weekly agenda for the homework, as you guys know. And look what we're doing today. Assignment number forty-five. 6.3 multiplying and dividing rational expressions okay page 328 3 through 7 11 through 23 27 through 33 odd go ahead and write that down and then we'll go ahead and get started now as you're writing that down let's do some godzilla time at the same time i think you can see me can you guys see me as i am presenting at the same time if you can't see me say but we a rational see. expression can you see me you're frozen. Okay, yeah. so I will wait. Thank you. I will wait for some reason my computer's freeze whenever I present. I don't know why, but I am here. So I'm going to get rid of this in 10 seconds unless somebody still needs to write this down. Remember, we do a check your understanding today. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two one okay so before we do um multiplying and dividing rational expressions we're also going to be doing simplifying rational expressions excuse me i gotta blow my nose but simplifying rational expressions first of all what the heck is a rational expression right a rational expression is just a sexy way of saying fraction with x in it that's what a rational expression is it's a fraction with X in it, okay? So, I mean, that's a rational number is two-thirds. This is Godzilla time. You don't have to write this down. A rational expression, X squared plus 2X plus 7 divided by X squared plus 8X plus 9. That's a rational expression. It's a fraction with X in it, and we can factor it out to simplify it. Now, Godzilla time is still going on. You can write this down if you want, but you don't have to. Now, if we are if we are simplifying a now we could simplify this, right? First thing we're gonna do is simplify rational expressions. Let's look at simplifying rational numbers. Okay. Now, one way we can do this is we can say, hey man, hey man, both of these are divisible by 40. So you divide the top by 40 becomes one. Divide the bottom by 40 becomes 2, and then we simplified that fraction. But that's not what we're going to do today. We're going to use this technique, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to find the prime factors. You guys remember prime factor is a number that cannot be divisible anymore, right? Donnell, are you there? I can't see. I just see an orange circle with a D in it. I'm here. All right. I can't see you, man. It Jacob, says I can't on. see you. What's going on? Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out here. Oh, there. Oh my gosh. There's wait, Donnell. Wait, wait, oh my gosh. Donnell is so worried about you. You're okay, right? Yeah. Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. Uh oh. I think Jacob's not here. Can you hear me? Where where are you, man? What's that? Jacob. What? Jacob. Yeah, I need to leave and join back. Yeah, I tried out. Okay. Here's what I want you to do is find the prime factors of 40. 40 is 4 and 10 and 2 and 2 and 2 and 5. 
So, right, you can't divide them anymore. Anyway, 40 is 2 times 2 times 2, 2, 4, 8 times 5. That equals 40. We could all agree upon that. It doesn't matter how I got that, but 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 is equal to 40. We can do the same thing with 80. 80 is 8 and 10. 2 and 5. 2 and 4. 2 and 2. 80 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, now again, this is Godzilla time. You don't have to. You don't have to do this this way. Um, I mean, you don't have to write this down, but you have to understand this concept here. Notice this is all multiplication on the top, all multiplication on the on the on the all multiplication in the numerator, all multiplication in the denominator, and this represents division. What's the what's the thing with multiplication and division? They cancel each other out, right? They cancel each other out. So what we can say is this. As long as this is all multiplication, all multiplication, if you have the same number over the same number, you can cross those out. Two and two. Really, it crosses out to one over one. Because, hey, by the way, quick thing, what's two over two equal to? It's equal to one, right? We're just making them into ones when we cancel them out. So, also visa, also visa, and then I have a five and a five, also visa, also visa. Everything is canceled out on the top, which means, remember, it cancels out, it becomes one. So this is equal to one. What do I have left over? Just a two on the bottom, okay? That's the technique we're gonna use to simplifying rational expressions. So let's look at our assignment uh, number three. So Godzilla time is over. Where is it? Uh-oh, did I lose my, I lost my page here. Oh my gosh, I just spilled, oh, I just dropped all the papers. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go okay number three it tells us to simplify the expression so we got to simplify the expression can you guys just see the bottom of my mouth okay so number three here's my expression so write this down three is going to be equal to two x squared divided by three x squared minus four x now, the first, I'll, I'll get out here. Let me get out of the way so you can see it as I'm talking to you. The first thing we need to do is we need to find the factors of the numerator and the denominator like we did before. 40 was 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. 80 was 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So what are my factors? Just factor it out. Now, so this one here is going to be 2 times x times x because that's my x squared, right? My denominator is going to be 3x squared minus 4x. What can I factor out of here? Just an x times x minus 4. Now, notice this is x times x minus 4. Even though this is a chunk, okay, the subtraction, just that's fine. This x times this, this times this times this. I have all multiplication on the top, all multiplication on the bottom. So, what that means is. Does anyone have any idea? Oh, before I continue, sorry, I'm talking a lot. The other thing you must understand is we can never have zero as a denominator. Did you guys know that? We can't have zero as a denominator. So this is impossible. You can't divide by zero. There's actually been only one human being who's divided by zero, though, and you are not that person. There's been one person who's divided by zero. Okay, that only that's Chuck Norris. Okay, Chuck is only she's only, but he's only done it like twice. Okay, but it's it's impossible to divide by zero. You can't divide by zero, so you can't have zero in the denominator. So when I get here, I want to say to myself, what cannot be? What can x not be? X cannot be equal to zero because it can't be zero. That will make it zero. And x can also not be, what should x also not be? Let's go, Gianna. What did x, it can't be 0. What can it not be here? What would make that 0? Negative 4. Uh, that would, negative 4 minus 4 would be negative 8. That would not be 0. But you're close. Think of the opposite. 4. 4. 4 minus 4 is 0, right? Gianna, makes sense? Gianna? Okay. 
So X cannot be four. So that's another part of our equation. We have to say that X cannot be zero and X cannot be four. You have to say what X cannot be. Now, the other thing that's gonna be kind of weird is in the book, on the test, it will only say the one that disappears for your solution. I'll show you what I mean by that. Now, what can cancel? I have an X in the numerator and one X in the denominator. I can cancel those out. So let's cancel them out. Boom, boom. And what do I have left over? I have two X in the numerator and X minus four in the denominator. Because this disappears on your solutions on your test, it'll only show this X does not equal zero on your multiple choice test. Good question. Yeah. I don't know if I missed this part, but what happened to the three? From three X squared. Oh, shoot. I, I forgot to write it. So what should what should this be then? Three X minus four. So that actually is real important. Ariana, sorry I made that mistake. Ariana is right. This should be three X minus four. So then this will also be three X minus four. And then that would change this to not be four because I could plug four in here. So the thing is this cannot equal zero. 3x minus 4 cannot equal 0. So you'd solve it, right? So what do we say? We add 4, 3x equals 4, divide by 3. x cannot equal 4 over 3. So let's change that to 4 over 3. All right, now that's how you do it. Thank you for catching that, Ariana. People watching the recording, I made a mistake, but we fixed it. Okay. Since I made that mistake, are there any questions since I made that mistake? Since hopefully I didn't throw you off. Help me get out of it. Okay. So let's, I'm going to do number seven next. Okay, which is a little bit, is, is, is kind of more different with the factoring than this. So I'm gonna erase this in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so number seven. So all the, okay, so here's all you have to do. The way to simplify is you just factor and cross out. That's all you have to do. Factor and cross out, right? Matthew. Yo. Okay, so I couldn't find you. Okay, so. Uh, number seven, let's make a lot of room here, is x squared plus 11x plus 18 all over x cubed plus 8. Remember, sum of cubes is a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared you guys remember that the sum of cubes we went over it so we factor it out let me know if i'm going too fast because i'm ready to factor it out i'm going to go unless someone says wait wait so factor the the x squared plus 11x plus 18, 18 and 11. What times what equals 18 and adds to 11? 9 and 2. So this is x plus 9 times x plus 2, right? So that equals that. We factor that out, okay? Now, this uh, a cubed plus b cubed, so... 
Um, so here my a is going to be x, and my b, cube root of x cubed is x, cube root of 8 is 2. So this becomes x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. So this will be x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. And I can't factor that anymore. I'll pause here for a second so you guys can see what I got there. And then we just, we're, we're almost there with our answer. We have to figure out what our zeros are not, what, what, we, what we can't have for our zeros. And then, then we just cross out and then we're done. Okay, Jeshua, what cannot, what can my X not be here? Like, in the denominator? Yeah, denominator only. Um, uh, two. Joshua, you're trying negative too hard. Two? Huh? Negative two? Yeah, very good. Negative two. That's it. X cannot equal negative two. Since I can't factor this out anymore, so we're good. So X cannot be negative two. What do I cross out? Annika, what am I going to cross out here? Uh, X plus two. Yep, cross those out. Blink, blink. Nothing else to cross out. So my answer is just going to be X plus nine over X squared minus two X plus four. And X cannot equal negative two. And that's all you're going to do. So that's simplifying. Now I have to do multiplication and division. Okay? Are there any questions before I talk about erasing this? Okay, I'm going to erase this in 10 seconds unless someone says they need it. Five, four, three, two, one. Erasing. Okay. Let's talk about multiplying rational expressions. Okay. Now, let's first, let me multiply um, two-thirds. This is Godzilla time. You don't have to write this down. Okay, two-thirds times nine-eighths. Okay. So we – now, one thing we could do is we could say, okay, let's just go two times nine is 18, three times eight is 24, and now, okay, now we can simplify. They're both divisible by six. 18 divided by six is – 3, 24 divided by 6 is 4, so it's 3 fourths, okay? We're not going to use that one. We're going to find the factors. So here we go. Here's the way I want you to do. Godzilla time still. Still Godzilla time. 2 thirds times. What are my prime factors of 9? Brandon, what are my prime factors of 9? Brandon. Yeah. Brandon. Brandon. Are you? Is your microphone on? I can't hear you. Yeah, I just turned it on right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. What are the factors of nine? Factors of nine, like one, nine, and three. Okay. What? What? What equals nine? Three times three. Oh, Get three it? Times three. That's what I'm asking for. Okay. What are my factors, Morella, of eight? One. Two, four, and eight. But what equals eight? The prime factors. What times what? Um, I guess you guys don't understand what I'm saying. It's two times two times two. Those are the prime factors. Does that make sense, Morella? What I'm saying? I guess I'm asking it kind of weird. Morella, that makes yeah. sense what I'm saying? Yeah, it makes okay. sense. Sorry. Okay, I want to see if I'm making sense to the class here. 
But anyway, so multiplying rational expressions do the same thing. We factor, and then we can now cross out. Even though it's a cross, I can say, hey, three times three, this can go out with that. The two can cross out with that. And what do I have left over? Three in the numerator and two times two, which is four in the denominator. Same answer, right? So this one, we're going to do the same thing with factoring or multiplying rational expressions. We're going to factor and then cross out. We also have to figure out what our X cannot be. Okay, Godzilla, are there any questions? Godzilla time is over. Get your papers out. Let's do one. Let's do it. Get back to the chopper. It's killing us. we got to get back to the chopper. Get back to the chopper. Okay, here we go. Number 11. Number 11. 4xy cubed all over x squared y times y over 8x. Okay. Can you guys mind the way? Okay, hey, what's the first thing I said to do, Madison? Starts with an F. Factor. Factor them out. So let's do it. Four, remember I said, hey, four is two times two, the primes, right? We want the primes. You don't have to do that. You can simplify it other ways, but this way we could just cross out. Y is, Y cubed is Y times Y times Y all over X squared, X times X, Y times Y times eight is two times two times two X. I'll let you think about what I did there for a second. Then we just cross out and we're done. We have to figure out what X cannot be and what Y cannot be, right? Wait, what about the X and 4X? Uh, wait, wait. I mean, which one? 4 is 2 times 2. Oh, did I forget the X? I forgot the one X. I need an X there. Let me... 4 is, Ariana, what would I do without you? 2 times 2 times x. So that's my 4, Ariana. There's my x. There's my 3 y's. There's my 2 x's. There's my y. My y. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 and my x. But Ariana, did I get it right or did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay, cool. Anyway, so now we just, oh, what can x not be, okay? Roberto, what can X not be? Two. No, you can be two. You plug in two. You're not. You're fine. It's not going to be zero. X cannot be what, Roberto? Try again. It's easier than I think. It's so easy. It's like hard. You know what I mean? Negative two. How are you getting that? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, let's try with, hang on, Robert, I'll get back to you. Uh, Eric Jones, what can X not be? I don't know. I, I don't get it. I get you out here. Does anyone get it? I Listen, I don't blame you. I blame you. just have a horrible teacher. Michelle's correct. Michelle, what did you say what you said? I said zero. Yeah, X cannot be zero because if I plug in zero here, it's zero, right? You don't want it to be zero. You just don't want it to be zero. X cannot be zero. What can, even if, if you plug in negative two, then this will be negative two times two is four, and that'll be, you know, two, that won't make it zero. As long as it, it's the zero product property rule. If it is all multiplication on the bottom, if you make X zero, everything becomes zero, right? So we're multiplying X by everything. If this X becomes zero, everything becomes zero, no matter what, because zero times five is zero, zero times 20 is zero. So X cannot be zero. So um, Roberto, 
What can Y not be? Roberto, your microphone's off. I don't know if you're, can you hear me, Roberto? Yeah. Okay, what can Y not be? Zero. Very good. Y cannot be zero also, because if I put zero here, it multiplies by everything, makes it all zero. So we got our X is what our X and Y cannot be. Now let's cancel out. Again, hey, um, Eric, what can I cancel out? What can I cross out here? You can remember you can cross, you can cancel out across. Then think, think, think. Eric, what can I cross out here? The Y's. What's that? You cancel out a Y. Very good. Eric says, "Hey, the Y goes away." Eric, what's the matter with your camera? There you go. All right. So what else can we cancel out? Uh, Morella, what else can I cancel out? You can cancel out an X? Or... Uh, yes, I can. Blink, blink. Very good, Morella. Uh, let's see. Let's go with uh, Gracie. What else can I cancel out? Um, the twos. Yep, I got this two and that two and that two and that two. And then you just say, hey, what is my answer? Nothing else to cancel out. So you just combine everything. I have three y's in the numerator. Y times y times y is y cubed. I have an x, two x's, and a two in the denominator, two x squared. And that is your final answer. And that's all you got to do. Are there any questions? Jay, I can't see you. Do you have a question, Jay? Don't be shy, Jay. Do you have a question? Just show your face and ask the question. He put in the chat that he was going to the restroom. Oh, I didn't know that. It's good you turn the camera off when you go to the restroom. That's fine. Thanks for letting me know. Are there any questions? Okay, can I move on? I'm gonna erase this in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's going. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Now let's hear, we're all gonna do this next one together. We're gonna to do number 17. Some of you, I feel bad. I need this whole board here. 17, I'm writing all the way from this end here. X squared plus 3X minus 4. Okay, see that X squared plus 3X minus 4? Uh, let's see. I'm going to have, see, Jasmine just joined. Uh, let's say Jacob. Actually, Eric. I'm going to have you factor this out, okay, Eric? You're going to factor that top one out? Jacob, you're going to factor um, x squared plus 4x plus 4. So Eric does this one. Jacob, you factor that out. Times 2x squared plus 4x. Said so Eric, Jacob, Isaac, you're going to do this one, this numerator here. Isaac, you got it? You can do it, Isaac. I know you can. And then uh, we're going to do x squared, x squared uh, minus 4x plus 3. And then Ishii, you got this one here, okay? Okay, so we have Eric, Jacob, Isaac, and Ishii, okay? Um, Eric, do you need more time or are you good? I need more time. I barely wrote it down. No problem, oh man. Take your time. Everyone else is writing it down too. So we'll all catch up. See, it looks like Jacob's still working on it. Isaac and Ishii. 
so all we do is factor and cross out. That's it. We have to also figure out what X cannot be. Okay. All right, Eric. You ready? Mm -mm, I don't get it. You going to factor it? Okay, let's have um, Alex Garcia. You factor that. Alex, you're doing this one right here. I'll factor that one out. Then we're going to show Eric how to do it. But I just I had my... I might, oh, I'll use my blue pen. Okay, Jacob, how about this one here? It will be open parentheses, x plus 2, closed parentheses, squared. I'm going to leave like this completely factored, though. Okay, so I know what to cross out. Yeah. Cool, Jacob? Yeah. You're right, though. You got it. Okay. Um, let's see. Isaac, this one right here. Uh, I got um, 2x, uh, op open parentheses, x plus 2, close parentheses. Very good. 100% correct. That's amazing. And then Ishii, how about here? x minus 3 times x minus 1. Um, yep, that's right. x minus 3 times x minus 1. Again, if you can factor, this will be a lot easier for you. Um, Alex, what did you get for this one up here? I don't know. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to show you how to factor this. You take this here, you get a minus 4 and a 3, right? Put the minus 4 here and a 3. This is something you should have done last year, and we've done this already before in this class. What are two numbers that multiply and equal negative 4 and add an equal positive 3? Well, that would be 4 and negative 1. Because 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4 plus negative 1 is 3. So this is plus 4, x plus 4, minus 1, x minus 1. Okay, make sure you know. If you don't know how to factor, stay after class, and I'll show you how to do it. you got to know how to factor, or else you cannot do this lesson. Very important. Okay, now we figure out what can we cross out, okay? So, John, what? Are, what give me something I can – oh, no, no, John, let me ask you this first. What can X not be? Zero. X cannot be. Zero. No, because I plug in zero here, I get two. I plug in zero here, I get two. I plug in zero here, I get negative three. Zero, I get negative one. I want the whole thing to be zero. So let's look at this one first. If I don't want this whole value to be zero, what can X not be here, John? Uh, negative 2. Very good. 100% correct. X cannot be negative 2. If the X is not by it, if the X is by itself, it's 0. If the Y is by itself, it's 0. But if it's adding or subtracting something, you've got to put the opposite to it, right? Okay. Um, let's go with Michelle. What else can X not be, Michelle? Um, 3 and 1. Oh, you just gave them all to me. Thank you so much. X cannot be 3. X cannot be 1. Very good, because 3 minus 3 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 100% correct. What can I cross out? Um, Jasmine, what can I cross out here? The screen isn't loading for me. I don't know. My Wi-Fi is... Okay. Well, you probably have to watch the recording then, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Annika, what can I cross out? Give me, you give me 1 or give me all, whatever you want. Uh, you can cross out x plus 2. Okay, got that. That goes away. Do you see anything else? Is there anything else? I don't think there is. Wait a the minute. The x minus 1. Oh, yeah, the x minus 1. I didn't see that. I think that's better. Okay. I think that's it. So now I can write our solution as what's in the denom numerator? 2x times x plus 4 all over x plus 2 times x minus 3. Now on your test, 
it's going to say x cannot be negative 2 because you cross that one out. But no, they can't be all of them. Not only test the multiple choice, it'll just show this one. So don't be confused by that. But all of these cannot, x cannot be all of those. Raise your hand if you get it. I understand, Sensei. Okay. If you if you have questions, you could stay after class. We have one more with division. Okay. So are there any questions before I move on? Just speak up and let me know what your questions are. How come we don't do anything to the plus four at the top left? What What do you mean, dude? Like cross it out? Like how we do x uh, the can equal negative two? How come we don't? Oh, do okay, Jose. Great question. It goes back to with what I said. You can never have zero as the denominator. It's undefined. That does not exist. But you can have zero in the numerator. That equals zero. Zero in the denominator, it, you can't divide by zero. Okay, so I can make this negative four because you can have zero in the numerator. You just cannot have zero in the denominator. Oh, uh, okay, I understand now. All right, very good. Any other questions before I erase this? In 10, I'm gonna erase in 10. Six, five, four, three two one okay the last one is dividing rational expressions i'm just gonna do one problem on this and it should be pretty straightforward but let's do some godzilla time i got a question for you do you guys remember going back into fifth grade and you learned how to do this watch this two thirds divided by eight ninths do you guys remember how to divide that oh you want to tell me that i see a lot of nods okay you don't want to speak up or should i just show you a lot of teachers said copy switch flip right copy switch flip the way you divide fractions is you copy the first, switch division to multiplication, and then you flip this to 9 eighths. Now it's a multiplication problem, right? So you just change the multiplication, then we do it with multiplication. That's it. We know how to multiply. 2 thirds times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? Then you just go flaka, 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 flaka three-fourths okay so that's what we're going to do when we multiply rational expressions it's just like dividing except you go like this right that's it you just go like this Blink, and then you multiply that's all you do okay so let's do it i'm just gonna do one more i'm erasing that because it's godzilla time godzilla time is over Okay, we are going to do, what's that noise? Oh, I heard a weird noise. I freak out about weird noises. Halloween. You know, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to find this problem. What, what problem are we doing? Ah, there it is. I'm going to do 33. Okay, rewrite all the way over here. 33 is x squared plus 9x plus 18 divided by x squared plus 6x plus 8 divided by x squared minus 3x minus 18 all over x squared plus 2x minus 8. All this work here, all this work here what makes it hard is that writing the whole thing out. So I'll give you a second to write it out. Then we'll change it to a multiplication problem. 
then we'll factor, then we'll cross out, then we'll be done. We have to also figure out what X cannot be. Okay, so let's rewrite it. X squared plus 9X plus 18, all over. X squared plus 6X plus 8 times, got to flip it, X squared plus 2X minus 8, all over. X squared minus 3X minus 18. Okay. Now we factor. Let's do it. Actually, I have you guys factor. Who should have factor? Let's see. Uh, let's go with. Ethan, you're going to factor this one here, okay, Ethan? Carlos, you're going to factor this one here, okay? Uh, Gracie, you factor this one. And then uh, let's see, Annika, you factor this one, okay? Everyone else, you factor it too. Factor the whole thing. Make sure if you can factor this, like I said, if you can factor this thing, there's pretty darn, that's like the hardest part. If you can do the factoring, then all you have to do is cross out. No problem. Okay, Ethan, what did you get for the numerator here? Um, parentheses, uh, x plus 6, and then parentheses, x plus 3. Well, great, 100% correct. And let's go with um, Carlos. What did you get for this one? Parentheses x plus 2, and then parentheses x plus 4. Very good. Okay. And I think I had Gracie. Was this one right, Gracie? Yeah, it was parentheses x minus 2 and parentheses x plus 4. Very good. Almost done. And then finally, Annika. Uh, parentheses x plus 3 and then x minus six. Any questions on how I, how the guys 100% that's strong work. Any questions on how I got that? Or they got that, I didn't get it, they got it. Okay, uh, Joshua, I know I've asked you this before, but why not? What can x not be? Mm, negative two and negative four. Negative two, negative four. What else can X not be? Um, let's go with, uh, actually, since we're dividing, I wonder if it can be positive two and negative four, but for our answer, let's just, we have, to, since this was the top, we have to do this one right here, right? So X cannot be positive two and X cannot be negative four which we already got that, the negative four is already there. So let's go like this. Okay, what do I cross out? Um, Donnell, give me something to cross out here. X plus three. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Taylor, anything else I can cross out? Um, X plus four. X plus four, and I think we're good. So our answer is, our final answer, after all that, is, what's my final answer? Let me see, um, Jay, what's my final answer? 
Um, x plus six times x minus two over x plus two times x minus six. That's all you got to do. There's your answer. All of this, all of that, all of this, all of that. Boom. Look okay, out of the way. I'm in the way. I'm like jumping in front of my computer. I should let you guys look it up. Look at it. Look at it. All right. Are there any questions? Tomorrow's going to, I think tomorrow's going to be the most difficult. That's my opinion of this week. So be ready for tomorrow. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't have any questions, you may go. And if you need help with factoring, I can help you that after class too. All right. So see you later. Bye, Brandon. Bye, Gracie. Bye, Taylor. Bye, Annika. Bye, Ishii. Bye, Ariana. Bye, Ethan. Bye, Isaac. Bye, John. Bye, Joshua. Bye, Jaylen. Carlos. Gianna. Bye, Roberto. Bye, Jose. Bye, Matthew. See you later. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Jay again. Bye, Morella. Bye, Jasmine. Jacob. See you later. Bye, Natalia. I was just wondering if auto apply only applies to 27 through 33. What's that? Odd numbers only apply to 27 through No, it's for three. all of them. Odd um, for three through, sorry, I should have made that clear. Three through nine, and then odd, what was it? I can't, three through seven or something, and then 11 through, I can't remember. Whatever, they're all odd. All right, thanks. You're welcome. What's up, Jay? Yeah, um, yeah I want to ask, uh, how many questions are we doing? It's. It's in, oh, Donnell showed up. Hey, um, look, you mean for the homework? Oh, Donnell yeah, just left. Homework. Okay, it is this right here, 328, three through seven odd, 11 through 23 odd, and 27 through 33 odd. They're all odd. The odd goes for all of them. What was the last one? 27 through. Can you see it on the screen? Am no, I sharing? I Am I not sharing? Uh, I can't. I, 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 no. Oh, I forgot to hit the share. Sorry. There it is. There it is. Can you see it now? Yeah. 328, 3 through 7 odd, 11 through 23 odd, 27 through 33 odd. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that it? Okay, he's gone.